Oh, come on, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, he turned it! No! Oh, he turned oh, it! No! no! by 4.7 seconds. Scott Riggs, uh, three sec two and a half seconds back of Bush, trying to catch him. Then Todd Bodine, Greg Biffle, uh, blasted past Mike Bliss as uh, he and Todd Bodine were in close quarters. Watch this as the defending Bush Series champion in the number nine comes up against Bodine. Eases him out of the way. Ran up there behind him. You were talking about that earlier. If yeah. he's a little bit, well, you can been complaining about being tight, but when he ran up behind him, took the rear down force away, he definitely got loose then. Well, his front tires are pushing and his back tires are off the ground. <laughs> That's his problem. And Kevin Harvick, the pole sitter, has fallen out of contention, Matt. Eight laps ago, Mike Kevin Harvick has said the car is just really loose. Two laps later, he says the car is just bad loose. And then he came on the radio three laps ago and said, Butch, I think I've got a tire going down. They told him to come on and hit pit road. If he doesn't, he think he has it right now. He's riding just to try to feel it out. See, if indeed he does have a car going down or if it's just the way the race car has changed. To Dick Berger. Right now, there is one undefeated crew chief on this pit road. He is Cully Baraclaw. Working with Matt Kenseth, he started at California. They started in 19th spot, won the race. That was his first start ever as a crew chief. And right now, he's on the box with his driver leading with about 10 laps to go. Mike, you think if Kenseth wins this race, they're going to give Cully a seat to sit on? He's been hunkering <laughs> down all day. Good point. His car on the racetrack right now is Scott Riggs. Yeah. He is gaining on Kyle Busch by three tenths of a second per lap. Uh, so Darrell, he has enough time to catch him. Yeah, I think he will. The 87 has really, really gotten loose. I've been watching him off turn four here. He's had it crossed up a couple of times, and the 10 is just mowing him down. Nine laps to go. You know, a guy that's having a good run today, he was almost about to go a lap down, down earlier. Hank Parker Jr. driving for that Chance 2 Motorsports, Teresa Dell Earnhardt Jr. He's sitting there in the seventh position. Remember, he was not even going to run this race. Steve Park was going to run here. Of course, when Steve Park left DEI, they put Hank Parker Jr. in it as we see a battle for fifth right there between Greg Biffle and Mike Bliss in the 20 car. But wasn't he going to run this race? And here he is running in the top ten. Good run for those guys. Well, a bunch of guys have just kind of slipped up on this there. You know, Bliss is up there and uh, Casey Kane is eighth. There's Ashton Lewis Jr. He's ninth. Uh, some of these guys that we haven't talked much about all day, all of a sudden they stayed on the lead lap and they're in the top ten. So the Bush Series regulars are in position to take seven of the top ten spots. That was paced herself. I'm going to tell you what, Mike Bliss in that 20 car, this group has come to life. We're riding here with him down the back straightaway. I mean, he's seventh in the points. He had the best car at St. Louis. We talked about that earlier. Ran out of gas on the last lap, finished third at Nazareth. So they are really starting to come on here, that Joe Gibbs Bush car. Kyle Bush has stepped it up. Yeah, he, he is now quicker than Scott Riggs. He got he came back down to the bottom of the racetrack, and that really helped him. Uh, he was kind of sliding up the hill there for a while. You can see, though, he's really got his hands full. He's I'm pretty impressed with his car control, because that's all he's using right now, his ability and hanging on to that thing. <laughs> they put him to the test with two right side tires. Yeah. And he has responded. Lapsed where he can Whoa, where he is right there, man. I'm telling you, they stepped out on there. He's not gaining any ground on Matt Kenseth, but he is holding off Scott Riggs. And behind Riggs Ford is Todd Bodine, who is going to retake the point lead in the Bush Series. Yeah, no cloud cover. <laughs> Brian Patty's trying to tell him how, how good everything is right now. <laughs> oh, it's, it's really, a, you're doing good. <laughs> the only thing is, everybody's getting the cloud covered. I thought Riggs might catch him, but it looks to me like he's going to be able to maintain second place. Riggs just really twitched the car coming off turn four that time. He's doing all he can. There's a bit of cloud cover from the Goodyear blimp. Definitely start making the track temperature go down here with five laps to go. Well, this has been a fast race. Hornaday and Compton, that's the battle for 18th. They are both one lap down. Along with Scott Women, are 23 yes. car. All these are battling for position. A lot of good cars got lapped early by Michael Waltrip and Kevin Harvick. He made a lot of people's life miserable in that first hundred. Oh, trouble. Here we go. Round turn four. It's Biffle. Biffle. And Boy. through the haze comes Marlon. Yeah, Marlon. 
No, it's not the 19th. Casey Excuse Mears. Me. Right. You know what? I don't think Biffle hit anything. Caution is not out. They have not thrown a caution flag yet. Now, oh, there boy. it is. There it is. We just about got to. All these guys are going to run over each other. I hate it when they do that. The smoke, you know, it's a, it, it just, that smoke really messes you up. Bobby Hamilton Jr. still trying to get that lap back, but he will not do it. We have three laps to go. That is not enough laps no. to red flag this thing. That very well could have been the race right there. Pace car goes to pick up the 17. Let's see what happened to the nine of Greg Biffle. This was a battle for position with Mike Bliss. Yeah, he just gets it around right there. He knows he knows that uh, Bliss is coming. Probably got back in the gas. It's a little too early. But turn four, I mean, that has been havoc for so many teams here getting loose and spinning out. We've seen it all day long. We saw it yesterday. And as you'll see in our happy hour show coming up next, Two of the Roush Winston Cup cars spun at that very same spot during and the Including hour. Greg Biffle. He was one of them. But, Larry, what sun there is and what heat there is is soaked into that third and fourth turn. As the sun sets, it sets with it beaming right down on that third and fourth turn, and that sucker gets slick, as you can well see. Very lucky not to hit anything, and very lucky that Casey Mears didn't get into him. I mean, that's what these guys were trying to drive through yeah. out there all that time. That, that's, that's why when, they, when they're hesitant to throw a caution, I always, as a driver, you need that caution right away because you can't see. If you're going to err, err on the side of caution. Yeah, you can't you see bet. through the smoke, and people are coming to it and surrounded by it, and people slow down, and did he now, spin out again? Yeah, that was live, trying to come back around to the pits the car went around. Well, he's down there on the apron, and the apron's very dirty. There's a lot of trash down there, and it's, there's no grip whatsoever. They are not giving the one-to-go sign. Boy, it looked like he locked the rear, like he had too much rear brake on that car as he came down there and just locked the rear tires up and spun around again. Yeah, Mike, that was two laps yep. to go, so pretty much it, uh, if Matt Kenseth can make two more laps three miles under caution, uh, he'll win his second race. But how about the man in second place, Nick Berger? Well, Kyle Busch has just come on the radio, Larry, and he said he smells an electrical problem in the car. So Brian Patty, his crew chief, has just told him, turn everything off except the radio to talk back and forth between crew chief and driver. Yeah, that's probably all he'll need for the next lap and a half is a radio and ignition. Let me ask you, Daryl, does all that tire smoke smell like electrical smoke? It could. I mean, it <laughs> could be that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if I had a lap and a half to go, I'd just hold my nose. What else are you going to do? There's the whole family there. Tom Bush, Good Kurt job, Bush. guys. Good Kyle job Bush. in the pits, Brian, everybody. Rick Hendrick. And heck of a job out there in the car, Kyle. Good job, buddy. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. Ditech.com. 1-800-DITEC-1. Chevrolet, Quaker State, GMAC, everybody. Woo! Boy, he's got it down pat early. They grow up so fast. I like guarantee you that was tire smoke from you being loose through three and four all the time. Greg Biffle. Just getting back out there to finish this off. He is still a lead lap car. And the white flag and caution will wave together. Matt Kenseth is going to have to come around one more time to score his second win of the season. Second at Daytona, lost an engine in Las Vegas, seventh at Texas, and a win at California. Yeah, Greg Biffle would just vent his frustration before he has to get out of that race yep. car. Going to be 12 finishers on the lead lap. Kenseth, the winner, a Winston Cup regular. Kyle Busch, the rookie. Busch Series regulars Scott Riggs, Todd Bodine, Mike Bliss, Casey Kane, Hank Parker Jr. in a one-off ride. Regular Ashton Lewis Jr. Winston Cuppers Kevin Harvick and Michael Waltrip will be the top ten. Yeah, well, that, that's good runs for Casey Kane and Ashton Lewis Jr. They flirted right with the edge of the top ten all day long, and it looks like they're going to come home with top ten finishes. And Hank Jr. as well. I mean, you got a guy in that a ride all year. It's like he's driven one or two races, and he comes in here, and it's a pretty tough place to, to get around and uh, did a great job today. And Ashton Lewis came from a lap down, got his lap back, moved into the top ten. Don't get about old Blaney back there either, 11th. I mean, he did slip there and hit the wall a little bit, but the 31 car finished the race. And out of boy today, Blaney's crew for keeping him on the lead lap while adjusting that toe out under caution. Did not lose the lap. Kyle Busch, best finish in a series debut. 
in the NASCAR Busch Series with an asterisk. Terry Labonte won here in his first Busch race in 1985, but of course he was already an established Winston Cup star. Don't want to make anybody mad, but that was my car Terry was driving. Was it? Yeah.